Okay, this is the focused wave valveless pulse jet engine. You should be able to see it here. Um, it's all TIG welded, stainless steel, made of 20 gauge, so you can run it statically without any problem for a long period of time. This is just a, a leak test to make sure all the uh, welds are totally leak free. We'll do this with all the engines. And, uh, a little engine like this can run with a few little leaks, but the more leaks there are, the uh, less it will uh, run well, and uh, the throttle will be a lot worse. Um, if you're going to ever run it on liquid fuel, you absolutely need it to be leak-free. Um, the little spot-welded engines that are flooded on eBay these days are uh, definitely not very good. So. Uh, I'm going to let the water go here. And that's it. Okay, this is the little focus way of valveless pulse jet engine. It's got a little stainless steel test stand there. Uh, it's all stainless, 20 gauge, TIG welded. Never have to worry about it overheating when you're running it statically. Got a little stainless steel fuel injector here going down into the intake. It also has a spark plug, so if you have a spark um, ignition system, you can start it up pretty much instantly. Um, today I'm going to be using a torch and lighting the intake and uh, blowing a little bit of compressed air down inside of it, and uh, that will also start it up pretty easily. Right now it's about 10 degrees out and it's absolutely bitter cold. So what I'm doing is I'm warming up this little propane tank and a little bit of uh, warm water and that will help boost the uh, propane fuel pressure and uh, let the engine run. Now when I'm going to start it, I'm going to have the, uh, the little propane torch here uh, sticking in the intake a little bit. Just going to turn on the fuel a little bit and uh, that will ignite it and um, once the fuel is lit then I'm going to blow a little bit of compressed air in the intake and we'll start rumbling and uh, making some pops and bangs um, I don't know, it's pretty damn cold out so it might take a few seconds to start up but once it gets uh, roaring then I'm just going to increase the fuel a little bit and uh, take the compressed air away and it should keep on going and then, uh, after it's warmed up, you can crank it up to full throttle.